Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here, and today we are going to be talking about Larry Scott's first ever arms routine. Now, Larry Scott, of course, needs no introduction. He was Vince Gironda's pride student and the recipient of the first two Mr. Olympias in history. Larry will always be remembered as the all-American boy with the golden hair, the tan, the smile, and that physique. And even in today's standards, Larry was very impressive. Larry Scott, however, was not blessed with the best genetics, far from it, at least in regards to his skeletal structure. He remembers in his youth being the smallest of the pack, so to speak, or the runt of the family. At five foot eight and skinny to boot, he felt he could never get muscular like his father and uncles before him. According to his biography, one sunny summer's day, whilst performing his chores one afternoon and hauling garbage out to the local dump, a young Larry Scott would meet his destiny in the pages of an old muscle mag. After dumping the garbage cans of his trailer, Larry began snooping around for, you know, treasures, and he noticed a pile of magazines, and lo and behold, there was a waiter magazine amongst the pile. In the first page, Larry would gasp at the phenomenal triceps development of George Payne, and instantly, Larry was hooked to bodybuilding. It is said that George was hitting a side triceps pose in this photo, displaying his massive horseshoe shaped muscular tricep with the words, you too can have an arm like this if you follow my instruction, written underneath. Joe Weider of course had a way with words and he could instantly captivate the reader. Larry hurried home and began assembling a makeshift home gym. Such was the impact of the old muscle mags, I remember myself. He scrambled and made a makeshift workout bench from a pile of wood and used a train axle as a barbell and before you knew it, Larry was performing set after set of triceps work. Larry recalls an exhilarating feeling from his first pump as he knew that from the very first moment he was starting to grow. Now looking at Larry's first triceps exercises, they of course consist of very standard uh, motions. You've got to understand that he only had a train axle as a barbell. So we're talking the standing triceps press, or otherwise called the French press, the lying triceps press, and the barbell triceps kickback. Now the first two movements, as I said, are pretty standard and easy to perform. However, we will elaborate here on this last movement that is not commonly performed in gyms today. Taken from Larry's book, How I Built My 21 Inch Arms, which is available on my website, Larry explains the exercise in great detail. Quote, this is a finishing movement, purely for Daffy definition at the juncture of the triceps head, the horseshoe area. Its range is very limited and the exercise is almost all cramping. I stole this movement from George Payne's routine. And if you can show me anyone with better definition in this area, I'll give you an inch of my arm. Hold the bar with the side of the hands just touching the thighs with your palms facing away from the body. Throw the bar away from you, hold it there for a count of five, then let it slowly return to the body." End quote. So in summary, it's just basically performing a kickback with a barbell, but because it's a barbell, you will probably be able to handle a lot more poundage. Larry would perform these exercises for three sets each in the 6 to 12 rep range and train arms frequently. And this is something that is common about golden era bodybuilders in that in order to grow their arms, which they were truly obsessed about, they were not afraid to train arms frequently. We're talking at least three times a week. Sometimes they would train arms every day, especially in the beginning when they were super obsessed. Soon after Larry began bodybuilding, his best friend at the time, partner in crime so to speak, and fellow bodybuilding enthusiast Don Williams noticed Larry's arms and joined in. Soon both of them were seeing growth in their triceps and therefore decided to try and increase the growth of their biceps. So what could a couple of teenagers with no money do? That's right, they both went to the local newsagent and looked at the next issue of Joe Weider's Muscle Builder and found an article on biceps development. They didn't even purchase the magazine to just basically had a peek. The two young bodybuilders uh, then would 
blitz their arms day in and day out like fanatics, working only arms. Looking at Larry's first biceps routine taken from how I built my 21 inch arms and understanding that Larry Scott only had a barbell to work with, we find out that Larry's first ever mass building biceps exercise included of course the standing barbell curl, the reverse curl and another exercise that is not practiced today but allows significantly more poundage to be used than the dumbbell version and that is the bent over barbell concentration curl performed as the name suggests. Again, these exercises were also performed for three sets in the 6 to 12 rep range and Larry would bomb his arms frequently during the week. As soon as all the boys in town started to notice, Larry realized that through bodybuilding, he could be somebody and make his dreams a reality. Larry trained like a demon, a man obsessed. He and his friend Don decided to then to join the local YMCA and got to work. By the end of his first year of training, Larry's arms stretched the tape, measuring at almost 15 inches pumped, which is not bad for a 16 year old. So I do hope you have enjoyed this video on Larry Scott's first arms workout. And if you have, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm and leave me your comments. What do you think about Larry's first uh, arms routine? I mean, it definitely sounds like an obsessed teenager who just wanted to blast their arms to the 20 inch mark. Anyway, that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. And for those interested in learning the secrets of Larry Scott, Vince Geronda's top student and first Mr. Olympia, head to my website for the most extensive range of booklets on Larry Scott's bodybuilding methods. Everything from bulking up for beginners, specialization courses and advanced courses, as well as preparing for competition, all available at www.goldenerabookworm.com. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platt and Larry Scott and much much more and select your poster now. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince Deronda's approach to bodybuilding, his principles and all these tips of wisdom that he has, I mean, there's so much stuff that probably hasn't been proven by science and it will take science to prove or disprove uh, Vince. But to be honest, these three books, I believe, which I call the classic physique bundle, are the best books that Vince ever came out with. And they, of course, are the Wild Physique, the Master Series and the Pro Series. Have a look at it this way. The Wild Physique, I believe, is like the ABCs of Vince Geronda's principles to bodybuilding. He teaches you the exercises and his principles, but how do you put them together? Well, the master series is 14 month program of using all of these principles, all of the diets that Vince came out with, all of the exercises. And believe me, it's a brilliant, brilliant program. Many people have used it. I know, I know personally, a lot of uh, bodybuilders that have actually used it and uh, f made fantastic results with it. And of course the pro series was a book that he came out with later on, specially targeted for uh, getting into competition. It's just these, these three books, as I call it, the classic physique bundle, uh, Vince's best work and available of course at www.goldenerabookum.com. Now the pro series of bodybuilding, which was targeted for professional bodybuilders, is a contains six programs, each of which go for two months each, so it's a whole year, uh, again, in preparation for competition. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. The golden era of bodybuilding was born on the sandy platforms, rusty rings, and blistering high bars of Muscle Beach, where young men and women performed feats of strength and gymnastics, igniting a fitness boom that would reverberate for decades. By the 60s and 70s, the golden era was in full form, spreading like wildfire, and engulfing a new generation of bodybuilders who wanted nothing more than an all-natural, well-rounded physique. This lifelong pursuit of physical perfection created legends. 
including a young Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lou Ferrigno, the golden boy, Larry Scott, three-time Mr. Olympia, Frank Zane, and the Duke of Delts, Don Howarth. These men all had one thing in common. They all trained under the legendary iron guru, Vince Gironda. Vince believed above all else that bodybuilding was 85% nutrition, and he scoffed at anyone who took shortcuts to achieve their fitness goals. At NSP Nutrition, we hold true to our roots and maintain Vince's spirit alive by sharing his belief that all you need to achieve greatness is the right exercises, the right foods and supplements, and the right attitude. At NSP, you'll find all of Vince's training manuals and books, as many diets that pair perfectly with these exercises. And of course, small batch, high quality production of Vince's original supplements. All our products are clean, superior formulas made from earth-grown nutrients, free of harmful chemicals, added sugars, and toxic preservatives. We make no compromises, take no shortcuts, and accept nothing but the best. Because the moment you decide to get back into shape or want to accelerate your gains and win your next competition, NSP will be by your side to help you achieve your personal health and fitness goals. That's how we maintain the spirit of the Golden Era Champions and honor the legacy of our founder, Vince Duranda. Simply put, our customers trust NSP Nutrition and they appreciate what we stand for. Once you become a customer, you become part of the NSP family. This is NSP's commitment to you.